Okay, in this section, we discuss some motivating examples of derivatives. So, basically, we want to understand how to find tangent line at a given point. So, let me use this example. Uh, our function is x squared plus 1, and let me pick this point 1, 2. So, basically, we have uh, this point, 1, 2, on the curve, y equals x squared plus 1. And we are interested in this tangent line, so uh, red one or pink one. So we are interested in this, and to find the such a tangent line, we want to use secant lines joining this given point and any random point Q on the curve. So this blue line joins the given point P and any point Q on the curve. So uh, this line, L sub PQ, so this is L sub PQ, joining P and Q. And so we want to find <coughs> slope of this guy first. And to find slope, we need to find the uh, rise and run. So, so slope is rise over run. So to find this, let me pick some coordinate. Say this is x. And then this is f of x. And let me call uh, delta x for this run. And then let me call this rise uh, delta y. So basically, the slope of this blue line, L sub pq, is rise over run. So slope is delta y over delta x. And what we can do next is to somehow move this point q little by little to very close point to this given point p. Then you can imagine how this line behaves. So we will look at the behavior, I mean, how this line changes as we move this Q to point P. So the, eventually we will get tangent line. The tangent line at this point P is the straight line that just touches the graph at this point. Uh, in the note that we provide, you can click this link, 00, zero example, and then you can control the slide bar to move this point P and the line L sub PQ. Then you will see how this line behaves and how this line approaches tangent line, this, uh, this, uh, this red line. So in this 00, zero, zero example, uh, you can slide the, you can slide bar to control this h, and I, I, this h is actually nothing but delta x, or in this case, x minus 1. <coughs> All right, so let me uh, calculate this quickly. So delta x, so delta y over delta x. For this delta y, we take difference between two. When you plug in x, so we have f of x. And then we have f of 1 over delta x. The difference between 2 is x minus 1. So eventually, we will use this expression when we calculate slope of this uh, line, and then eventually slope of the tangent line. OK, so we are after this tangent line is in this, in, in this uh, pink. So the idea is to move this point Q so that this point Q approaches this point P. Then we will see how this straight line, L sub PQ, changes. Eventually, 
this line S of PQ will approach to this tangent line. So the line S of PQ approaches to the tangent line as our point Q Q approaches P. Or, in other words, as X approaches 1. So we can calculate slope of this SOPQ. So slope of SOPQ is delta Y over delta X. As we did in the previous slide, delta Y is F of X minus F of 1 over x minus 1. When we take limit as q approaches p, this slope will give us slope of this tangent line. So that's what we expect. So we want to take limit as q approaches p or equivalently as x approaches 1. Our function is x squared plus 1. So, so f of x is x squared plus 1 minus, when you plug in 1, we have 1 plus 1. And then x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. OK, and we calculate this. So. We have basically x squared minus 1 for this numerator and x minus 1. Well, when you plug in 1 here, we have 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 or 0 over 0 form. In the previous section, we discussed how to find limit when we have 0 over 0 form. Well, the key idea is factoring and then canceling. So if you compare those two expressions, you see x minus 1 is common factor of this numerator. Actually, when you factor, you can cancel copy of x minus 1 like this, and so we have limit, which is 2. So what we did is to look at the slope of second line as Q approaches P. So our Q approaches P, and we calculated the, the slope of the line. And eventually, that limit gave us 2. That means slope of this tangent line is exactly 2. So now that we have the slope of this tangent line, we are ready to write down the equation. So you can use point slope form. So equation of the tangent line is y minus y value or f of 1 and the slope. Let me use color. This slope, I mean there are too many twos. 2 x minus 1. So this is an equation of the tangent line.